Hi everybody and welcome back to sketch to see In the last construction update, we finished up at the end of February 2021. This update is going to bring you through to approximately the end of March 2021. Stay tuned for some pretty exciting developments in the construction of our full custom carbon yacht. Okay, so here we are again. Just a reminder, if you've not already watched the other construction updates, I'd encourage you to go back and do that now. I'll put a link in this video for that playlist, and it'll also be there at the end. All our episodes are packed with photos and information about our build, and this one won't be any different. As always, make sure to stay tuned to the end for a sneak peek from the next construction update. We left off in the last episode with all of the integral composite tanks being completed and pressure tested, as well as the transverse mullion beam molds being completed. Well, I'm happy to inform you that the transverse mullions are finally being formed and infused. Check these out. I think, it is a, I think it is fascinating how the team at HH Catamarans makes all of this from a small diagram on a piece of paper. These beams are 36 and a half feet long, and some of them are over 20 feet tall. Each of them needs to be one continuous piece of carbon in order to meet their structural integrity requirements and according to the builder, require an overall accuracy of less than plus or minus one eighth of an inch. They wouldn't be strong enough if you tried to piece them together. And if you think these are big, the longitudinal ones that are next to be on the table are about 70 feet long and still require the same accuracy. The completed transverse mullions have begun to be dry fit. Once all of these are in, we will be able to see the superstructure of our yacht looks like. The furniture has also come a long way since the last episode. Here are some of the pieces that have been nearly completed thus far. The reason I say nearly is we have not fully signed off on our furniture package yet. So the geometry and the shape of the furniture will likely not change, but some of the finishes may. We will review the completed interior rendering with the decorative veneer panels drawn in accordingly and make our final decisions then. We've shared a few of these images before, but these are the design elements I'm talking about. For our base or surrounds, we have selected a quarter sawn mahogany veneer with a high gloss finish. For the interior decorative panel, we have selected a crotch mahogany panel with a small raised molding detail around it. Once we have pictures of all the rooms from different angles, we can finalize our choices for where and how many decorative elements should be in each room and then sign off on that room and its interior design. We are currently waiting on these sign off renderings. The wiring and plumbing are continuing nicely. We are extremely happy with how tidy and streamlined HH is keeping all of these elements. It will make servicing these systems much easier in the future. We also have more molds being made simultaneously as both furniture work and wiring and plumbing are ongoing. As you might be aware, we have a hot tub going onto our flybridge. The actual hot tub will be dropped into this mold here. We have a large crane to deploy the jet ski that comes out of our flybridge deck, just behind where the hot tub will eventually sit. Superior design and engineering went into this area of the flybridge that will work together with an additional carbon girder bulkhead behind the hot tub to provide structural support not only for the hot tub, but to support the mounting of this crane and absorb the large compression loads from the bridle main sheets that run across the tub. In addition, construction has begun on the hardtop mold for the flybridge. This process starts like all the rest of the molds we have had to make thus far. A plywood jigsaw puzzle was cut using one of the CNC machines. Then it was assembled in the cradle. After that, it received a plywood skin, tooling putty, and then finally off to the big five axis CNC machine. Once it is off this CNC machine, 
It'll be ready to be laminated with carbon and then infused with epoxy. Finally, a very exciting thing that has happened since the last update is that the cabin top lamination has begun. This is going to be cool once it's pulled off the mold. I'm curious to see the next steps on this piece for a few reasons. First of all, I can't wait to see how it'll all be lifted off the mold and flipped over to be properly oriented. Second, I want to know how it will be dropped into place. I think that one will get the nerves going a little. Once the transverse and longitudinal mullions are fully installed and laminated, this cabin top will be placed on the rest of the structure like a crown and then laminated it into place. All of this brings us up to the end of March. I think this was great progress and there's even more to look forward to in the next episode. Items like finished infusion of our cabin top, completed fabrication of our interior walls, CNC completion on the flybridge hardtop, the aft deck sections that include the transom steps are being infused, furniture being dry fitted, transverse and longitude mullions being finished. You'll just have to stay tuned. If you're not already following us on Instagram and Facebook, please do. It's a great place to see up-to-date content about our build. Please like, subscribe, and share. A small click from you goes a long way for us. If you have any questions or just want to talk about yachts, feel free to reach out to me at skepticy at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.